How much does testosterone come into the conversation of fertility for men? It's an Im- that's a, a really important topic because um, there's sort of like quotes and estimates that in 33 years from now, all men in the Western world will be infertile. Shit. Which is like, <laughs> freeze, freeze the sperm, lads. Yeah, get it out now <laughs> while you can. Like. Um, I'd say this is an important, like many different factors are contributing to that. Like, Testosterone is obviously going to be a, a sort of byproduct and a res, like an, an effect on fertility. A lot of the a lot of the hacks and the strategies and the biohacks that mm-hmm. I share, a lot of the things that I share around testosterone optimization actually have the benefit of also supporting fertility. Yep. So like what I'm trying to educate to men is like get healthy, and as a result of that, testosterone will go up. Yep. And so will fertility. Yep. So is that like if is there like a, a measure that people are looking for sperm count sperm quality all these sort of things that they can go get tested for like um, you know listen listen to next week's episode with Holly if you're interested in that because she'll talk on the female side of things but obviously the, the male comes into the equation of fertility as well like is if you're seeing you know if people are struggling to uh, fall pregnant then mm. start to look at the male what are they looking for then in some of those tests yep so. From a male perspective, obviously doing a sperm analysis is going to be crucial and basically identifying um, sperm count, sperm motility, viability, like progressive formation, um, morphology, different elements of like um, sperm quality. Um, so if we're looking at that that aspect there, it's really important that you know men, if they want to get their fertility checked, at least doing it once every six months is usually a good strategy. Yep. I mean, I've personally worked with guys who have like started at like 12 million sperm count and after being on the full protocol that I've sort of like prescribed, mm. which I've pretty much outlined on, um, it's trtfree.com. Mm-hmm. That's like our, our gold package course for testosterone optimization. That protocol there enabled him to boost his sperm count like three, four, f- three to four fold Shit. in a six month period. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's going to be pretty handy, I imagine, if he ever wants to have kids. So, um, what, what, and then testosterone, how it affects building muscle um, and things like that. Pro- a similar conversation. Yeah. So, testosterone is definitely like an anabolic, you know, hormone. It's a, it's, it is important for muscle growth. Mm-hmm. It's not the only hormone. There's obviously um, growth hormone and IGF one and and a few other like regulators. You know, obviously, testosterone is going to play a role. Let's just say this, you compare two guys doing the exact same training program, mm. eating the same way, but but one guy has like, let's say 1,000 nanograms per deciliter total testosterone. The other guy has like 400 nanograms. The guy with 1,000 nanograms per, de- per deciliter will very likely have a better body composition, mm. less body fat and more muscle mass. So is that you could like those other things as well, the um, growth hormone and other factors, are they increased in a similar way to testosterone or are they a separate story now? Um, it's a it's a good question. There are separate strategies to boost like growth hormone and IGF-1. Yep. Um, whereas like you're looking at testosterone, it's more specific to that mm-hmm. particular pathway. So what like for growth hormone, what are um, IGF-1 was I think you yep. mentioned as well. What are some of the things that you could be doing to try and get them up? Yep. So, um, I mean, sauna usage has been shown to boost growth hormone okay. pretty significantly. Also, intermittent fasting. Yep. Although some people would say intermittent fasting is catabolic. <laughs> like you just <laughs> can't get my cows in that way. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm here to boost, boost growth hormone, but I'm but I'm catabolic. At the yeah, same yeah, time. yeah, yeah. There's like which which is better? <laughs> yeah. I think there are some other things as well, like um, L arginine on an empty stomach can give you a transient boost in growth hormone. Whether or not that would re- like translate to any noticeable yep. effect, it's questionable. And then you got compounds like ibutamorin, um, which is MK six seven seven. Like that is an orally active growth hormone releasing hormone. Like mm-hmm. it's a secretagogue. Um, and that one there, a number of guys that I've worked with say that that really does help with like putting on size yep. and building muscle. Um, so there's a few things that men can do to yeah, to okay. boost that. Head over to Jordan Checker Podcast to get the full exclusive experience.